Hello everyone, this is Betsy from Ideas Times 2. Today I have a flip through for you. Um, I used Lorna Taylor's digital kit on both of these books and uh, the paper is entitled Calligrapher's Garden. So it has a botanical theme and there are lots of uh, beautiful scripty sort of parts to the papers. So just beautiful paper. I will link her shop down below and I will link both of these books as well. They're for sale in our Etsy shop. So I will link these down below as well. So as you can see, this is just a, a micro mini, very tiny. Um, so I will set that aside but, and I'll do this one first. So this book was made from a vintage book cover. Um, I have collaged up the front these images. This image is from the digital kit and this script is from the original book block and um, there's cardboard here. There's a metal book plate and I have metal book corners here. On the spine I have some coffee stained canvas and I sewed some lace onto the canvas. Um, so that's that's the spine. Um, it's five, five and a half inches by eight and a half inches and the spine is one and three quarters inches. I had to build a new spine because the book's uh, original spine was very small but it was also kind of um, worn out. And the back is plain except for the metal book corners there. So this this closure is sari silk. So it's a, a luxurious sort of piece of sari silk and it, it's like a burgundy red. It kind of matches the cover. So. All right, so it has oh, 52, I believe, let me look here, 52 pages, and it's fully decorated. So we've got pockets and tags and tuck spots and charms, all, tabs, all kinds of things. So in the on the front cover here, I have collaged a tag, and it has lace and uh, fabric on it as well, but it's made out of a vintage file folder, and there's some hand-dyed sari silk there. And this is just the paper on the front cover and nice big pocket there. This is the original spine for the book and I just sewed it onto a piece of heavy craft cardstock and um, made it into a sort of a tag bookmark and there's a little sari silk there at the top. And this pocket has another little tuck spot on it and I made a booklet out of a miniature um, glassine bag and, it, and I made the front cover into a pocket so there's a little journal card in there with lace sewn onto it and it's just miscellaneous coffee stained papers. I think there might be no coffee stained papers. I think this is just a little scrap from her digital kit but there aren't any images on it. Anyway that gets just, just gets tucked there. There's some collaging on this side. Uh, lots of handmade like ink treatments on there. This is an envelope from her kit and then I put a journal card in there. So that just gets clipped right onto the page. It's like a coin envelope style. So I put book pages in here, um, hand stained papers. So there's like coffee stained papers. And this is um, also an eco stain, but I can't I can't remember the plant. Um, it might be turmeric. I believe it's turmeric. Um, so there's lace sewn on here. This is part of her beautiful kit. There's a snippet. Um, here is a paper bag made into a floating pocket. So there's a nice postcard, some collaging on there. Uh, here's a, a large pocket and this is a journal card that I just collaged up a little bit. This uh, this is from a botanical book that I have. This is um, avocado stained paper and I put a large pocket here. It's collaged up and then here's a tag from her kit and this is some Tim Holtz paper and I just sewed uh, some um, graph paper on there and just put the word dream. So in her kit she's got some word, um, word, um, little, uh, words. Yeah, words. I guess that would be the best way to describe it. Here's the other part of that floating pocket. So we've got a library card and some stained paper. 
put those in that large pocket and then I put a pocket on top of this and so there's a beautiful tag from her kit and another tag from her kit right here decorating this index card tuck spot. So she also has these beautiful tabs which I love and I hung charms off of them. So here's a leaf charm and here's a collaged uh, this is an, an envelope flip on this side, but the envelope flap I made into a pocket, so I collaged on top of that. This is from her kit, cute little jar, and then I have a coffee stained doily that I tuck right inside there. All right, so here's our envelope flip. Um, this is collaged up, and then it just flips open one time on the side, and I have, I think this is a Tim Holtz effect from a Tim Holtz ephemera pack and I just folded that in half and then this is collaged up here the other side of that music paper um, here's a slotted um, slotted pocket and so I put some little little pieces from the digital kit all kinds of little things um, I made a tag out of an index card and this larger tag in the back is from her kit as well they're pretty. Tiger lily with an apple. So pretty. And that's just a, a label. And that's the end of the first signature. The second signature starts here. I love these cherries. And I have a file folder pocket, like a double pocket. So the back part of the pocket I have a postcard and a stained piece of paper coffee stained and it looks uh, sort of bluish because of the lines the lines uh, bled when I put the, the coffee wash on it um, here is an, a stained index card and I put a tab on there of sorry silk and canvas this is uh, wax paper that I, I crinkled up so for fun texture this is cloth washi tape and I just sewed a little fabric on there there's a large tuck spot here and a beautiful envelope. Look at how she did that. So the flap of the envelope matches the bottom half and so you get the whole dragonfly. So pretty. So here, this is a uh, piece of paper that I ink uh, stained. Nice journal spot. And that just tucks right there. This is scrapbooking paper here. Um, I put a, a pocket with a snippet here and this is just a journal. Um, card that I, I stitched around and this is a vintage um, flash card. Um, this is scrapbooking paper here and I just put this little music um, page, just a little part of a page there and then this is glued right onto the page as well. It's a collaged up and this is lace stained paper that I made. Here's a, um, just a collage there. There's a little bit of stenciling and there's some lace stitched on the side here. This is stained uh, notebook paper and this is from a botanical book that I have. So that's in the center. Here's another one of those beautiful tabs and I have a butterfly on this one, a butterfly charm. And here's a belly band and I just uh, put these two little tags, tucked them right in there. Here's a large pocket. So here is a beautiful, uh, it's not a journal card, it's a file folder from her kit. You cut it out, fold it in half, and you've got a, an, an adorable file folder. So that goes in there. There's a piece of paper that I um, treated, did some ink treatments on, and you can see it's like a pearlized ink on there. There's a little fabric tab. This is a fabric uh, ribbon, like a twill tip. And then here's a, a mini glassine bag that I coffee stained and put this little frog tag on there. Her images were just so cute. So, so very cute. I just love that frog. And uh, some washi tape here, uh, another one of her beautiful postcards and I just clipped it on the side there. There's the other part of the wax paper and I stitched um, a botanical page to it so you can see through it. It's like a, 
like a foggy sort of window on there. And then this is the other side of that botanical page. Here's a, um, a little tuck spot there. This is in, an index card that I coffee stained and I did a little bit of stenciling and there's sari silk stitched onto that. And that's the end. Um, there is an envelope flip on this back cover, which I have, um, I have, um, I keep it closed with the sorry silk tie. So there's collaging on each of the envelopes. And this one has a couple of beautiful journal cards in there. In the collages, I tried to, not all of them, I don't think, but I tried to uh, put parts of her, um, her beautiful uh, papers because uh, the images were just too good to pass up. So I made this, this is actually a tag, and I made it into a pocket and um, glued it on there. And here's a little booklet with tea stained paper and a doily. I'll just tuck that right in there. And then here's another little collage and then a postcard. I just love postcards and her postcards are beautiful. So there's a little collaging on this envelope and it flips this way. More collaging here. And inside of here, I put uh, a partial page of from her kit. And then this is um, a piece of that really nice uh, craft card stock that I used for the cover inside covers. And uh, this uh, envelope flap becomes a little tuck spot. So there's um, a gorgeous journal card in there. And this part is glued down, this half of it. So just this half is a little tuck spot. So then we can flip it shut. And there is just, um, it just ties shut like that. And that is it for this journal. Uh, it's pretty, pretty heavily decorated. And I left lots of room for writing, but also you could tuck in more uh, tags and journal cards and that type of thing. So this one is, um, my camera stopped there and I went ahead and zoomed in for this next journal. So this is a tiny journal, uh, three inches by three inches and the spine is about one inch. It has two fat signatures and it has 104 pages. That includes fronts and backs. Um, I put an eyelet there on the front cover and I made a lot of little uh, dangle charms. And at the very bottom, my favorite one is this little mushroom bead. So that's awesome. There, um, this is collaged up. I use the same lace as with um, this journal. It has the round circle medallion type lace and I used, I had, I had two of those <laughs> medallions left and I made a little journal here. So it's the same idea. I have coffee stained canvas. I sewed the lace on and then I attached it to a file folder. So that's how I made this, this little cover. So this is collaged with Lorna Taylor's um, papers and then I have a little label and I took a little bug off one of her images and put him on the label and um, sorry silk closure so the sorry silk is attached to the cover it's sewn directly on and it's it's pretty pretty fully decorated so I'll try to try to go quickly though here's a little mini envelope and I put some small journal cards in there they're just little pieces um, of the larger journal card and I think I got the images so that they look like they were made to be that size. Um, here's here's a, the pocket there. Here's part of that beautiful dragonfly image that we saw on the last one with the envelope. Here's another glassine bag made into a pocket. Oh, I made a tag for that. It's coffee stained. Almost all the papers in here are coffee stained. I put a little stamp there, I have a mushroom stamp. Here's a belly band and I made a small booklet, like a notepad style. So there's some inked up pages in there. 
and then it has kind of a stiff back and that just gets tucked right under the belly band. These are uh, uh, metal brads and this is like, a, not like, this is an ink treated um, paper here. This is part of her kit. This is actually the uh, title page and um, it said Lorna, or it's a tailor-made journals. It had her logo on it and I used all the pieces around the logo. So this was a piece of paper from that front page. This is another little stamp. This is avocado stained some notebook paper, some tiny little uh, tabs, and I just put a little um, stamp on it. Cof uh, coffee stain lace paper. This tuck spot is, all these beautiful images are from her calligrapher's garden um, journal kit. This is lace stained paper for journaling. There's a little raggedy piece of ticking on there. Here's the center of the signature. I left the signature strings long. You can definitely cut those off, but I thought they were fun just to hang out underneath the journal. There's another tiny, tiny tab. Tuck spot with a journal card. The other part of that lace stained paper. Here's some lace sewn on the edge of this paper, and this is washi tape here. There's coffee stained notebook paper. This is um, um, a medallion from her kit. I just punched it right out. Um, I cut this off the bottom of uh, a journal card and I put some little tickets inside there. Another page from her kit. An ink stained paper. This is um, mushroom images from the Tim Holtz ephemera pack. Here's the second signature. I've got some a fabric tab sewn on up here. Here's some washi tape, a little uh, cluster, I guess, uh, with eyelash yarn and the word journal. Some notebook stained notebook paper. It's another circle image. Um, little tab. It has a leaf on this one and a little set of keys on the other side. This is a coin envelope I made into a floating pocket. So there's a um, tag there and it's collaged up just a little bit there. Such pretty, pretty papers. This is another a pocket made out of glassine bag and a beautiful tag from her kit. Tuck spot lace stained paper that I made into just a journal journal spot. This is the center of this signature and um, I used the bottom of an image and just made it more technical difficulties. I am sorry. So what I was saying is that I made this into um, just a long double-sided pocket and I have two um, tags that I collaged up and those and they're on a heavy craft card stock and those just slip in that center pocket. Once again, I left the strings a little bit longer so they stick out the bottom. Here's another belly band with a notepad in it. And there are metal brads on this one as well. Here's a butterfly image I just glued right onto the page. Notebook paper, coffee stained. Um, here's some stamping, some cute little daisy type flowers. Um, there is lace sewn on this page. Here's the other side of that floating um, coin envelope. And I made a small tag and there's a little bit of collaging there. Some lace stained paper. Um, here's an oval image and I just wrapped it around the page. Here's some ink stained paper. Both of these are. Um, this one's not very dark. That one's, that one's got more color to it. And another little tab and um, this side tuck has tickets just like the other one did. Tried to keep them in the sort of reddish family there. Here's a small pocket and an index card. I made a, a small a small um, tag out of a uh, coffee stained index card piece. And then this is from Tim Holtz Ephemera um, pack. 
and uh, some more stamping of the cute little mushrooms and some more of the ticking fabric there. Giant pocket, well giant, I mean giant for the mini. Uh, giant pocket here and there is a journal card and um, a small tag. And look how cute that uh, snail is. Cute. <laughs> so cute. So that is it. Um, Lorna Taylor's link will be down below for these cute, cute papers. I mean, so adorable. And let me bring out the other journal here and see if I can remember how to zoom out. Just, oh, I guessed wrong. I'm gonna try to slowly. Okay, so the, there's the one journal from her kit and here's a micro mini. I did forget to mention that this um, dangle is removable too. So it's on a lobster clasp and totally removable. So that's it for today. I just wanted to share that and to uh, encourage you to take a look at Lorna's shop. And I will leave the links you could, uh, where you can find us down below too. And these are both for sale in our Etsy shop. So I will leave those links too. Thank you guys. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this and that it inspired you. Take care and we will catch you later. Bye.